Hi everyone, it's me, Midge. So um, I'm coming on today to show you guys a dining painting that I received um, from Victoria's Moon. And she's victoriasmoon.com. And I'm gonna show you, I'm probably gonna end up doing just a couple different videos later on. Um, because I'm going to show you what I picked out, what was sent, and then I'm going to show you some tricks and some um, items that just help when you are doing a diamond painting. So um, again, Victoria, Victoria's Moon. And so let me move this out of the way. And I'll show you, I'm just going to show you on, oops, this thing's going to fall off. I just oh, cleaned up all the paper stuff that I was working on. So this is, I don't know if you guys can see it. This is what I, I'm gonna move this light a little bit because I think it might be glaring. I picked out this uh, Cinderella's carriage and it's, and I'll put the link and stuff below, but um, it's an animated um, Cinderella. So I'm trying to think if, if that's gonna show but that's kind of what it looks like right there. Well, that is what it looks like, because that's what I got. <laughs> that's what I picked out. So um, it shows it in a couple of, here's a smaller version of it. Um, there's three different versions of it. Um, but here it is, a little bit bigger. I don't know if that helps. But um, this is what I picked out to um, make and she was so kind. I mean, very, very nice. They have, when I went on their site, oh my gosh, they probably have about, I think they have like 8,000 diamond paintings. It's incredible what they have. Um, they have a, a Pirates one that I really want to get the Pirates of the Caribbean coming up too. So that's one I've had my eye on for a while, but I want it really, really big. So this that they sent me, um, I let's see the dimensions on it. It's about three feet long by about one and a half, maybe a little bit bigger than the half. Like uh, it's almost two feet uh, in width and um, let me show you what it's. So when they come, they come with these, oops, I know, I, this is, they come with these little symbols or numbers that are on the side with the color. And then here's the picture of the, this is the carriage. And when it comes, it comes in a box like this, it comes just like this. And then it has like bubble wrap around it and different, so it's it's protected. And this is how it came. And then when you take it out, when you're opening it, this is what the inside here looks like. So here are all of your, um, little diamonds, that's what they call them. I'm just gonna take everything out of the center to move this over so I can kind of show you guys what I do. So here is the sheet, and this sheet, again, it's bigger than what was on the side of that that I just showed you. So it has like number one, number two, and it'll have like either symbols and numbers. And that kind of shows you these so like this is number 26 so you look down here here's number 26 it has this kind of a line it's almost like a plus and it says 3072 this says 3072 so when I'm working on the diamond painting it's going to have this symbol right here which is going to tell me that it's this so it's it's almost like you know um kind of years ago when they would, well, I guess they still do, like the painting by number, so to speak. Um, it's it's very similar, but it's a little more complex because there's just so, so many, you know. Um, 
different colors and different. So I'm going to show you kind of what I do. So I always take this. You don't want to lose it. I'm going to keep this with. And of course, you've got this. And there is a lot to this. You don't want to lose anything. So I'm going to show you kind of. I'll just start pulling, pulling a few of these out. They always give you more than what you need, which is fabulous because you'll need it. So there's a couple different ways that I like to store these little diamonds. So you can either get one of these, which this is, um, I would say this is probably more the more expensive way of, of going about it. Um, so what it is, is they're each little storage compartments. And then it has the number, just like that, that is put on. And then you can put another tag over it. You can even get these little tags just at the Dollar Tree. And you get a couple hundred for a buck. And then the neat thing is, is that you open these. And so when you're opening these, you don't have to worry about stuff falling out, anything. And then when you're working on that color, you just pull it to the side and that's the color that you're working on. Seal it back up when you're done and you put it into its its little tray um, this is a very very convenient way and it's an easy way what I would call user-friendly way to do it um, and you just organize each thing before you get started on your diamond painting um, like I said this is a little bit more expensive they sell these oh boy uh, Joanne fabrics um, I believe I believe Michaels might have it. Um, Amazon, um, you know, any of the, the places that do these little sequence type boxes. Now, I'll show you a, a little bit of a cheaper way. So, if I'll move this out of the way. So, these, let me show you. This is um, just these little compartments, and they're all separate like this, but as you can tell, they don't have, hold the same amount. Now this, um, I got AliExpress and I think I spent like 75 cents on it. And I have like four or five of them. And so each one, of course, oops, open it up wrong, opens up. So you can actually, if you want to, you could use like one of these that has so many of them, you could use every one of them and then just put the number down with a with a tag. My suggestion is, you know how you have the bead boxes that have um, the the little things that go in between? I don't even use those for beads because if those things move, your beads are all mixed up. Everything is a, that's what you don't want with this. You do not want any way that if this fell that you're gonna have one heck of a mess because you're not gonna be able to figure out what is what. It is, that's why separate individual compartments are the way to go when it comes to diamond paintings and in my opinion, beads. This is from um, Harvard uh, uh, Freight. The, is it Harvard Freight? Har well, you guys know what I'm talking about. Um, this comes with even more than these because I've used I've used them they're each individual and they're good size this whole compartment I think is like $3.99 or $4.99 something like that I use these for sequence I also always get extras of these this is what I will use for this because you get so many of these compartments they're so convenient um, you just take one out fill it up and I use those Dollar Tree little um, labels, just write the number in, and that way then I can just put a label over it for my next painting. Um, the, this is so convenient. I love this for beads too. I'll show you, I've got my, my bead cart next to me right now, but here's like, I've got beads right here, and this is for just my little bit of beads because typically I buy bulk. But these are great, this is seashells. So I have like two kinds of seashells right in here. 
and it works perfectly. I don't have to worry about it spilling. If I open it up and it does spill, it doesn't matter to me because I just needed that. Where that's how this, this is. So you want to have separate compartments for each thing. I, otherwise, ugh, I, I think you're gonna, you can, you can potentially have a big mess. The next thing that I like to do, well, that's the first thing. I separate and I categorize everything. That's the first thing I'm gonna do. I make sure that I have this is the light pad. This light pad, this is an awesome light pad. It is flat. I love this. I've used it twice. I have three of them, I think, three. So this is one I haven't used. Here is the adapter. It plugs right in to the adapter here and it lights up and you can push and and I will show you when when we get into this I will I will actually turn it on do all that but you can push this and it makes it brighter it goes dimmer goes it's it's awesome so this is one of my newer ones they're not very expensive I think they're like I think I got these for like $7.99 I would like to say on Amazon um I got them two Christmases ago. Um, and like I said, I now I'll, I'll tell you why I got these. Number one is for diamond paintings because I put them underneath the diamond painting for each section that I'm working on and it really brightens it up. It's so nice. It is, I, I can't even do a diamond painting without one of these. Um, I also got one for each one of the kids and um, this was all for Christmas and I got them for all my family members. What I did was I picked out two diamond paintings for each person. So for what, whatever they collect or whatever, I got them each a light board. I got them storage for their diamonds. And um, I got this extra blue tack, which is just like what they just sent me. It's gonna be just like the red tack. It just, I think it lasts a little bit longer. So um, I personally like that. And so I got everybody these two and it was a whole set for everyone. And it's, you wanna talk about great Christmas gifts. Um, this is a great Christmas gift. I, I am shocked how many men, once they do this, how much they love it. It's uh, more men actually like doing them, if they'll admit it, um, than women. It's very relaxing. They don't think about anything else. You can have TV going in the background. Um, and when they're done, they have something that they've made that they, put, they can put up in their office or their own room or whatever. It's a fabulous, fabulous gift to give to guys because I always have a hard time with what do I, what do, I do for the guys? And I typically don't give them, you know, craft stuff. This time I did, it was a hit. It was a hit. And um, my youngest daughter, her boyfriend, he's a he's a real man's man type, loves it. He collects wolves. So I got him two different wolf diamond paintings. With Christmas coming up, I will tell you, um, if you want great gifts, gift ideas for nieces, for nephews, I would say from ages hmm, probably eight or nine and up, um, all the way into for your husband or a brother or uncles, just if you know what they collect. I, I was actually showing the deputy guys that I work with, I was showing them these online. They were looking at Victoria's Moon um, online with me and they, they're all hunters. And so they loved the bird dogs with the, it would have the pheasants and they were like, oh my gosh, this would be cool. Cause they all have like pool rooms and things like that. They want to make their, their you know, do their own thing. So this is a great gift idea. Seriously, really think about doing it because it gives them something to do. It's creative and it's fun. And then you have something that you've made. It's pretty awesome. Now this came with the set, so this is that stuff right here. 
that I was just talking about that tacky, this blue tack right here, this goes into this pin. So you, I'm gonna push into here and that's gonna leave this sticky stuff. And that is what I'm picking up. So when I take my little compartment out and let's say I need all pink, so I'm going pink and then I put it on the thing and pink and I put it and I do it checkered style and I'm gonna show you guys that once I get started into this one. And you just kind of go back and forth and back and forth and back and forth and that's what, and then there's a sticky part on your diamond painting and that's what holds everything into place. And when you do a checky, like check style, once you do the ones in between, it kind of does a click, like a, you know, kind of click sound. This also came with tweezers, which is really nice. Um, it also came with this. And I don't, I, my other ones that I have received, I don't have this. So this is something brand new. Um, I will have to, I'm gonna have to play around and see what this is. And I will let you guys know. This is, oh, I think that this is for this too. Yeah, this is just a fancier version of it. Wow, that's really nice. How cool. I will have to, I will play around and I'll let you guys know because this is pretty much the same thing that this is. Hmm, interesting. So like this, back and forth, back and forth. Neat. I'll let you guys know. I will um, once I start playing into this, playing with this. I'll let you guys. This is pretty cool. I like this. It'll be easier to hold. Hmm. And so also whenever you um, have little diamonds that are kind of stuck together, here's another one. I put one on top. You put them in here, put this on top of, and then they pop. They'll pop, 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 and they'll they'll move out of, because sometimes in the factories they get stuck. So, um, but we'll get into all that once I start showing you guys actually how to do it and how I do it and where I start and like how I position the diamond painting, what I do. Um, another helpful hint is, um, I, <laughs> once I have all this organized and all, I like to do it up in our living room um, because we have a gigantic TV. And um, two years ago, once I did this, I bought from Pier 1 Imports, I bought um, TV trays, which is so funny. It's like the 70s or 80s, right? Well, these are, they're oversized wooden and they're, they're beautiful. They're from Pier 1 Imports and I, I bought a set and that way then I would have two just set up when I'm sitting on the couch and then I can do my diamond painting while I'm watching TV up there. Now that I have my bigger craft room, I can do it here because I have a little TV in here. So I can do it in here or I can do it upstairs. So, you know, you guys um, with Christmas coming up and, and just knowing some ideas, go check out um, their website and you know if if you have daughters you have sons you have anything um like they have I almost got the nightmare before Christmas I think they have like six or seven different ones of them they are awesome they are just so if you collect stuff like that and you you want to hang stuff up they had a bunch of Disney bunch of Disney stuff they have wildlife they have sea like they have mermaids, they have uh, fairies, they, I'm trying to think what else, um, just off the top of my head, because like I said, there's like 8,000, I can't even, I, I couldn't, uh, teddy bears, bears, uh, and you know that, you guys know how much I love bears, um, I'm trying to think, uh, just some stuff real quick, flowers, um, roosters, and chickens, and pigs, and horses, so anything you collect, wolves, um, you know, so if, if your kids, uh, they had lots of like Superman, that kind of stuff. Um, and, uh, for little girls, they had tons of stuff too. So, I mean, it's, it's cool to be able to 
get your family members something that they collect that they're gonna make that then they can put up in their own wall and say, I made it. So you guys really might wanna look into doing this for Christmas. Um, like I said, I did it and it was a hit and we live in a cold area. So like it snowed um, last night, but it already melted. But um, so in the winter time, I think this is why I like bears so much, you know, our bears hibernate, we kind of hibernate too. Um, so we, we all just kinda, um, that's when the crafting really gets into play um, because you know when it's 40 below you really don't want to go outside on your days off and stuff so um, it gives you something to do so you guys might want to just look into doing something like that for Christmas gifts I will come back um, later on um, and I'm going to show you guys once I get started I'm going to show you how how I got started what I did and um, we'll just take it from there and then we'll just keep going with a few more videos just just to show you guys the progress and, and how it's looking and um, where I start and how I do it and, and all that good stuff. This is a really, really fun project to get into. So um, I hope you guys go and check them out and I thank you guys and we will talk soon. Okay, bye-bye.